Welcome to the Greg Tish Show. Tonight, Marsha is fresh back from the Bahamas. Yes, I am. You said you were going there to sleep. I did. I was going to the Bahamas to sleep, Alicia. I am so tired. It's been great, though. It's been an awesome summer, and I have been scouting models for the last three months. Pretty much solid. I've been in New York City. I've judged and coached and directed uh, probably 100 models this summer. But you're about to start doing some fun stuff for the Greg Tish Show now. Oh, God. I'm so excited, everybody on the Greg Tish Show here. Okay, audience, listen to this. Marsha Dahl gets to be Marsha Dahl. Charlie Marsha Dahl, which is just interacting with people, celebrities, I get like press passes and everything. I get to like scoot in the back door and like interview everybody that comes to town. And um, I'm a real groupie, even though I do hang out with a few stars every now and then uh, in my business in New York. and. Uh, abroad, but um, I'm excited about it. So yeah, yeah. it's gonna be fun. I'll give you, you know, a little entertainment uh, tidbits that you don't get on TMZ, or you might get it on TMZ or um, entertainment television or whatever. But um, just telling you about the crazy life of Marsha Dahl and what I do, scouting and movies, and uh, right here in Tallahassee, what's right. going on? I will get in the door. <laughs> Well, it sounds like you have fun wherever you are, especially in the Bahamas. So. I try to. Absolutely. <laughs> you guys stay tuned. we got more coming up right here on the Greg Tish Show. I think the beer of the week this week is actually a cider. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that. This crisp and refreshing cider offers sweet apple notes up front with a subtle dryness at the finish for a balanced cider taste. The addition of Fuji apples adds a layer of complexity and brings out a fresh apple aroma and slightly sweet, ripe apple flavor. Angry Orchard has searched the world to find the right orchards with the right attitude for the best combination of apple types. Their search for particular flavors led them to traditional growing regions of Europe where they hand-selected bittersweet apples from France and culinary apples from Italy. A wide range of apples used in Angry Orchard Cider contributes to the complex flavor profile. Once the apples have been picked from the orchards, they are pressed and mashed to capture the juice. At the point, we add a white wine yeast to the juice, which then goes through a lengthy fermentation process. During the time the cider is wood-aged, a process that adds subtle spice and vanilla notes to the juice. When fermentation is complete, the cider is then matured for a period of time before it leaves the cidery. Explore the orchard. The founders of America's three biggest pizza companies come from the Midwest. The founder of Marco's Pizza is also from the Midwest. Of Italy, Marco's, authentic Italian pizza. When we need help, we know that we have a partner to get us through the tough times. The Capital Area Community Action Agency provides emergency services and assistance to struggling families. Big Bend families have benefited from business startup, on-the-job training programs, and so much more. The agency made all the difference. Providing long-term solutions for those in need. The Capital Area Community Action Agency, your partner, our community lifeline. Hey, we've got the Greg Tish Show app coming up very, very shortly. We're just waiting on approval for Apple. But if you'd like to watch all the past episodes of the Greg Tish Show, YouTube. Search The Greg Tish Show. That simple. I don't know how we made it this far without me wanting to come out and do an interview at one of the favorite places that I've ever known a place that I grew up on, a place that many of us in Tallahassee grew up loving and everything. And we're out here at Killarn Country Club, and I'm here with Lori Wilkie, the general manager, and also a very dear friend of mine. Lori, how are you? <laughs> I'm fantastic. So give us a little brief history about Killarn Country Club and, and sure. where it's gone from the beginning. It was built in 1966? Seven. 67. 1967. Um, designed and built by William and Mick. And uh, of course, everybody knows the history with all the uh, PGA Tour events and the LPGA Tour events that were here. So that, that's kind of what it's known for. And 
Um, obviously, the, the clubhouse and the, ma the majority of the facility actually is uh, pretty much like it looked back then. So not a lot has changed. One of the coolest things I've ever seen in my entire life, uh, sports related, uh, happened right behind us here. Uh, I can't remember which Tallahassee Open it was, but Chi Chi Rodriguez was teaching a golf clinic to all the kids. And I was nine, ten years old, and we're all sitting out here. And he took two golf balls. He knocked one, hit one, hooked it, hit the next one, sliced it. They went out a few 100 yards, or not mm -hmm. a few hundred yards, about 100 yards. They bounce and they hit each other in the air. <laughs> so it's amazing that right behind us. Only he it, could do that. Oh, it was amazing. Then he turned around and did the sword with the golf club. Well, of course. Absolutely amazing. That's, right. That's cool with the rich history that was out here. A lot of people that. There's, there's so many good stories out here. It doesn't matter where you come from, how old you are, who you are. It seems like everybody from this town and, and currently living here has a story to tell about Killarn, and I think that's special. Now, how can somebody, like, is membership completely closed, or can you just call up and say, hey, I want to become a member? You can call to get membership information. Um, memberships are, are always available, um, all different levels, golf levels, uh, tennis, social, which is more of like the swimming and the dining and, and things like that. So, yeah, we're, we're always accepting members. Not to say you'll always get in, but we're always... I've tried five times. Yeah, and Greg. I, I can't. So far, you're the only one that I've ever had to decline. So, you know, good luck, everyone else. But this one is. Uh, <laughs> sorry. That makes me feel special. <laughs> you are special. Oh, I know. That's why I'm not apparently, not apparently invited here. Now, you've been the general manager about a year and a half. Yeah, about a year and a half. So, which congratulations? It's still. Oh, well, thanks. Cheers. It's still fresh. Cheers. Cheers as we enjoy our angry orchard mm. cider. Oh, that's good. That's really good. That's really good. All right, so you've been out here at Killarney Country Club for nine years. About nine but, years. And, but you've been the general manager for about a year, year and a half? Year and a half. Tell us about that, with the experience. What's it like being the man? Being the man is awesome. Um, no, no, the responsibility with that is well, going to be here's just the sometimes. Thing. Here's the thing. I get to come to this every day. So I'm, I'm the most blessed person on earth, and that's... Um, that's why the, the nine years have just flown by. It's um, every day's different. Every day you're encountered with something that's, um, it makes you appreciate and, and be thankful for everything that you have. And in this beautiful property, the members that, that are here, it's just, I don't know, it, it's, I can't really put it into words if you want to know the truth. Yeah, well, that's good sometimes. Yeah. Tell us about this beautiful property. Tell us about the guys that maintain this beautiful oh, property and give, them, give them some props. Yeah, well, it speaks for itself, if you want to know the truth. Um, the, the superintendent, Jimmy Evans, has been here 10, a little over 10 years, actually. And uh, when you're the best, I mean, you're just simply the best. That's really all I can say about him. He's got a phenomenal team um, supporting him, and the members love him. He's, uh, he's, he's just super. I love him, too. <laughs> you he's, do he's, love him. He's a super great guy. If you ever want to play a good round of golf, Come up and ask for Jimmy, and he'll go out and play some golf with you. It'll, it'll truly entertaining to play golf with him. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, as, as you know, the Greg Tish Show is about beer. Right. Now, right. beer and golf seem to go hand in hand. Now, how can I, if I'm out in the course and I'm getting a little, <clears throat> a little thirsty, is there a way that I can get a beer? If I can get an angry orchard or a yingling or something wonderful? Well, yeah, the there's, you know, there's, of course, the Bev cart. There's the halfway house when you check in. You can get beer from there. But, you know, typically it's from the Bev cart. The Bev cart carries everything. Mm. What's uh, what's your favorite beer on the Bev cart? Oh, my God. That's like asking me my favorite pair of shoes. Well, what's um, your favorite pair of shoes? I've got a really cute pair of black pumps that are just phenomenal. Um, Yingling. Probably Yingling would be okay, my favorite good. beer. Oh, I'm back in the conversation now because I kind of drifted out. Yeah. I started speaking a foreign language. Right. right um, no, Yingling would probably be consistently my favorite beer. Now, one thing that I need to mention that um, if, for everybody that watched the first couple shows, that we heavily promoted the Tallahassee Kickball Open and that yes. uh, Kirk uh, Luckman and myself and you, with your tremendous, tremendous help, you and Jimmy, with your tremendous help that you made that a very successful event. That was a fun event. That was, and the course is actually <laughs> still set up. So We're, we're going to leave it up. We're going to leave it up. We're going to have another Tallahassee Kickball Open probably in January. Um, what we need everybody to do right now is we need you to turn on your computers and we need you to go to our Facebook page, The Greg Tish Show. And on there right now, the first person to answer this trivia question will win a round of golf for two and two Greg Tish Show glasses, courtesy of Greg Tish Show and Sweetwater Brewery. So our trivia question is, and we just said it a minute ago, what year did Killarn Country Club open? 
That's it. First person to answer that on our Facebook page, just go and leave a comment that you know what year the Killarn Country Club opened. First person to do that, you win a round of golf for two and two Sweetwater Greg Tish Show glasses. All right, so I want to play golf out here. What okay. phone number do I need to call? 893-2144. Oh, hold on. <laughs> that cool? It just, it just stands there until you do this. <laughs> and then it goes away. Oh, well. Lori, thank you so much for visiting with Aww, us today. My thank pleasure. you so much for Clarn Country Club being one of the top sponsors of the Greg Tish Show. We Our pleasure. Been, we would have been out here anyway. But just thank you so much for everything that you do, not only for the club, but what you do for the community. Aww. Ladies and gentlemen, Lori Wilkie. Thank you. One of the smartest things I've ever done is had a request for an interview and then to request that person sit outside on August 1st, 2012. Sometimes I just don't think. Pick me up. Are you picking this up? Yeah. Do I need to stop that? Yes. I need to have this. Uh, how much space do you have up in your car? Cool. Before we start? Full. So it says, I mean, 29 minutes. I don't think we're going to go that long. I don't, hell no, we're not going 29 minutes. I get shit to do. Mine real quick. There's no way that'll take this long. No. Did you get another tattoo? I sure did. And it means... That's half a Tutankhamun's name. The other half's going to go. Rowan mine. You rowing? You already fought Half a who's? Yeah. Yeah. Tutankhamun. Yeah. King Tut. All right. We're That's ready. That's strange. If That's you guys... I'm sure there's a connection. I just don't know it. Well, I'm trying to do the whole Egyptian theme. But you're not Egyptian. The founders of America's three biggest pizza companies are named Tom, Frank, and John. But Marco's Pizza has a founder named Pasquale, who was actually born in Italy. Marcos, authentic Italian pizza. What is specialty coffee? Specialty coffee is what I'm about. It's me, striving to make that perfect cup, that perfect shot, finding the unique flavors, unique aromas. What is specialty coffee? It's me. It's hard work. It takes lots of practice. Great coffee doesn't just happen. Yay! I'm Lori Wilkie with Killarney Country Club, and you are watching Fox 49, home of the Greg Tish Show. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alicia New, and today on the Spirit of Food, we're in my home county, not my hometown. My hometown is Wiggum, Georgia, which is right down the road. It's even smaller than Cairo, Georgia. But today we're in Cairo, Georgia at Mr. Chick's, which is sort of a legend in its own time. They have great steaks. They have great sweets here, but they are known for, yeah, their chicken fingers, as you would expect from the name. They also have a really cool antique museum behind that we're going to go explore, too. So let's go get to it. Now we're in the back of the house, and I have the owner's son and the part, your partner in the business as well, yeah, well, Jason Lynn. And you guys are known for your chicken strips and your hand-cut steaks. Now, when some people say hand-cut steaks, they mean they have a piece of power, you know, machinery that right. actually does it. But you actually cut it with a knife. And how long do you have? Do you age your steaks? Tell me about um, your process there. We try to age them at least 50 days before we cut them. Uh huh. And it's um and it's a wet age. And uh, we cook every night the order, and we just do it on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. And that's one of my favorite comfort foods. I told you right. that. Like sometimes when I'm having a bad week on Friday night, I'll come by, go through the drive-through, get me a steak, and take it home, and be a happy camper. Now you guys do your breading of your chicken right. here, and it's all, you keep it very fresh, and then you go straight into the oil. Tell me about the ice. Why you have ice the on ice top is, of it here? The ice is to keep it fresh and keep it cool. And when you're real busy, you don't have to take it out of the cooler. You can just leave it on the table and then take it to the Greek. So what's your, like, your favorite event that you've ever had here? Uh, well, I think the car rally would be a, a good event. Right, And it yeah. brings in a lot of people from all over. Uh-huh, and, and that's uh, every May. And every May, and then Rattlesnake Roundup and Mule Day is usually the two busiest weeks of the year. Yeah, I would think so. A, all lot, this. a lot of people come home to visit, and then uh -huh. therefore they want to come back and see Mr. Chick. Right, great. All right, well, we're going to go talk to Michael Best right. about some more history and stuff like that of right. you guys. So thank you for your time. Yes, ma'am. Two of my favorite things at Mr. Chick's tonight is something right here.
that Southerners know is really, really delicious, but other people might not like. It's a cellophane wrapped cake. It's almost as good as peanuts on the side of boiled peanuts on the side of the road, but um, if you have never had cellophane wrapped cake, you need to try it. It's a Southern thing. And the other thing that I love here tonight is my sweet little mama and daddy, Clara Nell and Wendell Larkin. Now for my favorite part of the show, it's when we get to eat and talk to somebody really interesting like maybe Michael Best. <laughs> I'm the uh, official spokesperson for Mr. Chick when everybody's gone. <laughs> and better known as the mouth of the South. That's right, or the legendary <laughs> voice of the Cert Makers. That's right, the Cert Makers of course is the football team here. Right. And let's talk about the food. Okay, we have this, the hand cut steaks and then their famous chicken uh, fingers and tell me about the sauces. Uh, well the chicken strips are without a doubt probably the favorite of, of everyone. They, they have what they call a kitty strip where you can get just three strips and french fries of course and or the big plate like we have here mm -hmm. and uh, the chicken strips are, are uh, hand dipped and fried and it's just all white meat and it is uh, delicious they're huge. without a doubt yes and they're big and meaty and uh, the best uh, the two favorite sauces are the ranch and uh, what they call the Jason sauce yeah, give that a try that's oh, well. uh, oh, that's good kind of it's a it's a tangy sauce but it's mm -hmm. It mm. goes well on anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can dip anything in it. You can mm -hmm. dip a, a French fries very good in it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your favorite? <laughs> you can put anything in Jason's sauce. And, yep. that and some people get dipped strips, which the entire strip is dipped in mm. the sauce. So. Mm. It's got a little bit spicy, too. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about, we're sitting right now in the Antique Car Museum, which is a big part of Mr. Chick's personality. I mean, it really right. is a lot of who they are. Tell me more about how they got started in the antique car collection. Uh, when Wayne uh, and, and Roseanne met, Wayne had, had an interest in antique cars and eventually bought a car. Mm -hmm. And uh, he worked on remodeling it, refurbishing it, and, and it just kind of became his hobby. And then it ballooned from there. It started in, a, in an old barn behind the original Mr. Chick, which is in the park parking lot, current parking lot now, mm -hmm. and uh, he just kind of tinkered around back there and began to work on cars, and then it ballooned from there. He, you know, it led to buying another car and another car and another car, and eventually you have this collection of things uh, that go from anything from cars to toys to dolls to furniture to anything that people think are of value that they want people to continue to see. They wind up bringing it here and giving it to Wayne. They have three buildings of, of different cars and, mm -hmm. and originally uh, the plan was to just have this on showcase for other people to enjoy mm -hmm. and a place of that because a lot of these things are in people's barns and mm -hmm. you know right. in an attic somewhere and people didn't want to throw it away so uh, a lot of this was just donated to, to Wayne and Rose and he's kept it and cleaned it and you know set it up for display and and groups come in groups are always welcome to come in uh, we have an antique car rally in Cairo that they're responsible for let's talk about how that got started that's a really cool story uh, that started with uh, the great American race uh, which is a, a race that goes all the way uh, through the United States and uh, they made an unscheduled pit stop in Cairo all these cars were on the way to Tallahassee and they stopped in Cairo and we had watermelon and lemonade and the band playing and balloons and the whole town came out and just had a great time and uh, when they left they talked about how you know how much they enjoyed being in Cairo uh, and then at the end it was at Disney World's where they finished up they were to vote on their best pit stop in the whole United States and Cairo wasn't even on the list and they all rode in Cairo it was a unanimous choice mm -hmm. of all these hundreds of drivers and uh, they spread the word and said vote for Cairo and Cairo won the hospitality award and that's how they became the hospitality city. Well you know this has been a location too I think this whole county there's been a lot of talent there's been a lot of interesting people that have come out of this right. area can you name some of them I mean we you just recently you celebrated Teresa Edwards right Teresa Edwards of course Olympics. is the mm -hmm. uh, and you know she's the team leader of the mm -hmm. US team uh, gold medal winner uh, Daryl Singletary right. from Wiggum uh -huh. uh, he's a, a country music star he's from from here and, and I told you quite I often. told yeah, you used I to used to beat, to beat him, him up. up on the back of the That's bus right. <laughs> the, the church bus for trying to kiss me Teresa Edwards, <laughs> Teresa Edwards used to beat me up you know she, so there you go but uh uh, of course, Teresa, and then, uh, you know, uh, Cairo is, uh, of course, home uh, to Jackie Robinson, who mm -hmm. uh, was uh, the first uh, African-American baseball player. Mm -hmm. He was he was born here. So uh, there's a lot of uh, different, you know, Mickey Thomas with Starship. Right. Uh, with uh, Elvin Bishop. He's from Cairo. So mm -hmm. it's kind of unique. And, and then we've got uh, football players like Bill Stanfield, who played for the Miami Dolphins, played for Georgia. Mm -hmm. uh, Bobby Walden, who played for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's yeah. from Cairo. So. Right. There's so many. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, I always say about Tallahassee that it's a little big town. 
there's a lot of important people that are there, you right. know, but it's not a, that big of a town. It's not like right. you would think. There's a lot of smart people, a lot of important people. But Cairo is sort of that way. It's a little big town. Right. A lot of fun, really cool things right. happen here. A lot of cool people come out of this place, you know. Well, the whole Cairo Serp Maker thing is very unique. There's no other mascot. In fact, uh, you know, it's been voted the most unique mascot in, in the entire nation by ESPN and by Sports Illustrated. Well, let's talk about that a little bit. Let's talk about this is not Cairo syrup. Right. People always people say, say, oh, you're from Cairo. You know, syrup makers, you're from, that's Cairo syrup. Right, that's K-A-R-O. And, of course, spell like Cairo and say it like Cairo. Right. <laughs> so, uh, but it's it's very unique and people want to know about the legend of the syrup maker and how did mm -hmm. it, you know, come about. And actually, there's a couple of stories, but the most of, uh, the story that is repeated the most is Mr. Roddenberry donated to the football team some ra some rain jackets, mm -hmm. uh, and on the back the company put Serp Maker in two different words because it came from Roddenberry's, mm -hmm. and eventually it stuck. They were originally the Tigers, which is you know there's a million Tigers. So <laughs> right. We're the only Serp Makers, and that's kind of stuck through the years. So, so it's Roddenberry Syrup, right? In Cairo. Georgia. Right. <laughs> it's spelled Georgia. like Cairo, right. Egypt. Just and to clarify, in case you didn't know. And the Roddenberrys <laughs> donate a lot of their, uh, you know, memorabilia to right. Wayne as well. Mm -hmm. and it's in the restaurant. Uh, Coach Bobby Bowden it, used to eat here quite regularly. They would uh, you know, kind of mark off the back room for him, and he'd mm -hmm. slip in and, and have supper here. Have supper, and, yeah. So it's just a place that you'll, you know, you'll read on Facebook and other places where kids that go off to college say, I can't wait to get home and eat Mr. Chick. Well, this has been the spirit of food and my little own hometown, we'll say county. <laughs> my hometown is Wiggum, as we mentioned before, but this is a kissing cousin to that at Cairo, Georgia. And this has been Mr. Chick. We've seen their antique museum. We've talked to the legendary voice of the syrup makers, and that's not Cairo syrup, that's Roddenberry syrup. But it's Cairo spelled like Cairo in Egypt, just to make that all very clear for you. And this has been the spirit of food on the Greg Tish Show. The sun shines bright. As it moves across my face, I feel the light, and everything is in its place. The founders of America's three biggest pizza companies come from the Midwest. The founder of Marco's Pizza is also from the Midwest. Of Italy, Marco's, authentic Italian pizza. When we need help, we know that we have a partner to get us through the tough times. The Capital Area Community Action Agency provides emergency services and assistance to struggling families. Big Bend families have benefited from business startup, on-the-job training programs, and so much more. The agency made all the difference. Providing long-term solutions for those in need. The Capital Area Community Action Agency. Your partner. Our community lifeline. No, and so she said she wanted to go somewhere on vacation that she's never been before, so I said, take her to the kitchen. <laughs> it's, a good one. it's a great classic, classic line. Mr. Chicks, oh my gosh, that looks so amazing. I want to drive up to Syrup Maker Country and go visit this fantastic restaurant. Alicia, great job. Eric, two weeks in a row, you haven't been on. I'm actually kind of really digging this. My interview with Lori Wilkie from Kalan Country Club makes me want to do two things. Go to Klon Country Club more, and go to Klon Country Club more. Marsha, you, you did great at the beginning. I just missed you with your makeover, and I'm starting to get a little bit of a mini afro here, so I think that, that you need to make me over. So, it's been a lot of fun. My producers are looking at each other funny, so I guess they don't like what's going on, but I'm gonna keep talking, and I want you to go and visit our Facebook page right here. I'm gonna make them angry since they look like they're angry with me. Go right here to the Facebook page. Oh, and we're on Twitter also. Go right here to the Twitter page. Oh, did I mention we're on Facebook? We're right here. Oh, did I mention we're on Twitter? Take that, producers. You're looking at me and giving me a really bad, evil eye. Guys, it's been a lot of fun, but before you go to bed, I have a very special surprise for you. It's not the network television premiere. It's not even the television premiere, but it is the premiere of Tony Young's Low Country Boil in HD. So take a look at this. Good night, guys. We'll see you next week. Enjoy this video that I'm in. Boy, you sure got a nice place out here, Chuck. Thanks, man. Tony, we love it out here. Dogwood's blooming, grass is green. I mean, I think, I think it's about that time. You thinking what I'm thinking? I'm gonna call the band. I'm gonna call the crew. Y'all wanna know how we doing down here in the South? Listen up. I'm gonna show you how we get things done. I'm gonna grab a pot, the one that's stainless steel and that's big enough 
for a king size meal. I'm gonna fill it up with a garden hose out in the yard with some regular Joes. Get the propane tank and light it up. Gonna heat that water, then pour a cup with some old bay of that Zatarain's. Make it real hot, yeah. oh, baby, that's the plan. Let's have a low country for you. Spread the word that it's going down. Low country for you. You know all my friends are gonna gather round. Low country for you. Some beer on ice and we'll go to town. Low country for you. Down in Dixieland, that's where I'm found. You take some red potatoes and you cut them up on the tailgate of your pickup truck. Put some ears of corn, make it silver queen and the biggest mushrooms that you ever seen. You throw it all in and you let it cook with some sausage, but don't overlook. Jumbo shrimp, blue crab, if you really want, how about some crawdads? Let's have a low country for you. Spread the word that it's going down. Low country for you. You know all my friends are gonna gather round. Low country for you. Some beer on ice and we'll go to town. Low country for you. Down in Dixieland, that's where I'm found. Let's have a low country boy, yo. Spread the word that it's going down. Low country boy, yo. You know all the friends are gonna gather round. Low country boy, yo. A little beer on ice and we'll go to town. Low country boy, yo. Down to Dixieland, that's where I'm found. Let's have a low country boy, yo. Woo! Low country boy, yo. Hey y'all, gather round, low country for you. Spread the word that it's going down. Reaching out, screaming out from the ground. They can't stop us now. They can't stop us now. Raise my head in the morning Lift up and see an empty space Man, the dreams, they all went the same But tonight I'm gonna find a way